Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm doing my first ever unboxing video, and today we are going to be unboxing the Yamaha Stage Pass 600i. Uh, this is a PA system, and it's got a lot of cool features. So we're, we're, I'm going to talk about some of those uh, when we get this open. So let's do it. So this this thing right here costs about. Nine hundred dollars new, maybe seven to eight hundred used or like new. And there was a couple of points that really uh, sold me on this PA system versus other ones, like uh, for example the Bose uh, L1 Compact. Uh, this one is I am a I am a singer songwriter. I, I play acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and harmonica. And this this one really uh, spoke to me because the Yamaha specifically has an award-winning reverb. So the reverb on this thing is like some of the best in the world. And uh, another thing that, that sold me on it is these speakers, uh, while running through this PA, will actually high pass when you have a subwoofer added so that it doesn't muddy up the sound uh, when you have the, the subwoofer. The, mo the monitors won't be putting out the, the low end, which is super cool. That was honestly the, the thing that, uh, plus the state-of-the-art reverb, those two things really sold me on, on this specific PA system. So, if you take a look here, uh, it comes with a little owner's manual, of course, just like anything else. This is a... Uh, portable PA system so the PA actually goes inside one of these speakers and I'll show you that uh, later and if you guys have, have any uh, you know comments or anything just you know post your comments on the bottom of the video there and then tell me what you think of the video uh, you know things that I could do better things that you you that I might have missed that you'd like to know about the the speaker system so yeah so Right here, it shows you the little quick start guide, but you know I'm not gonna bore you with that yet. Let's uh, let's get to the fun part and get these speakers out of here, right? These are uh, uh, pretty decent sized speakers. They're not very heavy, so very portable. But here, let me move this box out of the way. You can see what I'm doing. All right, here's our first speaker we're pulling out of our Yamaha Stage Pass 600i. Look at that, that is beautiful. It's got that, you know, new electronic smell. Gotta love that. It's uh, very well packaged. And it comes with a little lip here. You just pull that out to reveal a hidden compartment. And it's got a box of goodies in it. Um, here is speaker number one. Let's see what we got in our box of goodies. Power cable, of course. Uh, speaker connector. And another speaker connector for the other for the other monitor. So I don't have the, the base uh, part of it yet. I don't really know if I'll need it, but if I do I'll invest in that. And I'm, you know, future-proofing myself because I won't have to worry about the subwoofer muddying up the sound with the built-in high-pass that these speakers, uh, the, the PA system has on it. So, here's your little compartment. I'm just going to go ahead and close that up now. Yamaha's electronics are, are great, and, uh, you know... I love it. You know, it's. I don't think they get enough uh, credit for the awesome stuff that they put out. Okay, here's uh, speaker number two. This is the exciting one because I believe this is where we're gonna have our mixer. So it's also got like a very sturdy handle right here that you can pick up the speaker with. All right, there's that. Let's move this over just in here. Aha, yes, here is our PA. 
Let's uh, unclip that and take a look at it, okay? So, RPA here, if you take a look, has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven channels. Well, nine, nine, ten channels if you count the little line in and the uh, you know mono left and right and whatnot. So, interesting thing about this right here. Uh, you can plug an electric guitar into channel 4 here because it's got this high Z uh, button which will uh, be able to handle the the signal from the electric guitar. I'm not entirely sure how it works but that's where you would want to plug in your electric guitar and it's one of those new age uh, XLR slots that has you can plug in an XLR cable and you can also plug in an aux cable which is super cool um, so yeah, this is where you plug in your speakers here. Uh, here is your reverb. You've got a couple of different uh, options for reverb. So here you can kind of see you got your hall reverb there, uh, plate reverb, room reverb, and echo. Feedback suppressor, that's uh, you know, if you're having trouble with feedback. And this is your on-off switch for your reverb. So pretty cool. Uh, three channel uh, mixer so it's got the lows the mids and the highs pretty pretty standard but some some uh, PAs don't come with it this one does and this specific one has phantom power on inputs one and two or channel one and two which is awesome because I've got a microphone that specifically requires phantom power so um, I'm going to switch out the camera positioning here, but uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're all set up and ready to go. Uh, I'm going to show you how an acoustic guitar sounds plugged into the PA system. Uh, no real mixing has been done on it, it's just all set to the middle part. And then I'll show you a little bit of that state-of-the-art reverb that I was talking about uh, earlier in the video. So. I'm playing out of a uh, uh, Breedlove Discovery Parlor Body Guitar. So, so this is with no effects, uh, no mixing, just uh, straight uh, sound coming out of the speakers. about uh, it's got four different types it's got hall plate uh, room reverb and echo so yeah and you can actually control the amount of time that the reverb uh, goes with one of the switches on here it's pretty cool so let me uh Another thing on this that is uh, a unique feature, it has three different settings. So it's got a, a setting for music, it's got a setting for speech, and a setting for uh, bass boost. So based on what you're going to be doing, uh, you can choose the best setting for you. So this is the room reverb. Soft decay. It's it's a very 
Five out of five. I love it. I love the sound. And this is my first time trying this. So. The thing that I like most about this is that you know it's it's affordable for some. This is why I, I, I kind of shied away from the bows because bows will you know they they charge you so much and you're not even getting half of the features that you would get with this Yamaha Stage Pass amplifier. So. Recommend it 100%. Let's try the plate reverb just a little bit. plugging in an electric guitar to it now and we'll see how that sounds all right the electric guitar we're playing here is an airline 59 reissue uh, made by Eastwood uh, it's got humbuckers tone chamber and mahogany uh, I just listened to it and I'm amazed at, at the level of clarity and just the power that you can get out of this speaker system through that channel there so let's uh let's try a little Again, that's with no mixing, nothing on it, and, and I, that sounds very crisp, very clean. Uh, I don't know about running a pedal board through it, but um, you could probably run some basic effects. Uh, I doubt that distortion or anything would do very well, uh, just plug straight into a PA system. Probably want to go with an amp for that. Now let's hear what the reverb sounds like with this. <laughs> That sounds next amazing. time. Uh, if you guys want to see a little demo with a this guitar has grounding issues, it's not the PA system, <laughs> so uh, don't let that mis mislead you. Um, uh, yeah, so next time if you guys want to want to see me play through a uh, mic that requires phantom power, so you guys can kind of see how that works on this PA system, just uh, you know, put in your request, uh, subscribe, comment on the video, like it. Um, if I get enough demand for that, then I will... I will show you how it works with a phantom powered mic. This is a Shure SM7B. It is a uh, used for a lot of radio broadcasts. This is the microphone that uh, Michael Jackson used to record a lot of uh, Thriller. And uh, you know, it's seen better days. I, <laughs> it's been beat up, super beat up. But this uh, this specific microphone requires phantom power. Uh, so it's for things like this that you would want something like that on your PA system. So uh, again, this is the Yamaha Stage Pass 600i. My name is John Marco and uh, please subscribe, please like and comment on the page and uh, tell me what you think. Thank you very much. This has been Unboxing.
your Yamaha Stage Pass.